Hi, I'm Stewie 3D, and in this video, I'm just going to show you some uh, calibration settings for the screen of the HP Omen 15 AX202NA, which has the 1080p IPS screen. But this will obviously apply to pretty much all of the Omens with the 1080 IPS. Um, now, what you're going to want to do is I'll show you how to get to that menu. Is uh, so go display settings display adapter properties color management and then calibrate display so here we go so if i go next now on the omen i find that you need to just bump up the gamma ever so slightly There you go, that's about there, so not much, just a little bit. Skip the brightness and contrast because uh, you don't need to do that because it doesn't, this one obviously hasn't got separate brightness and contrast uh, adjustment. Although you want to do this at, well, I'm doing it at maximum brightness, so uh, yeah, do it at maximum brightness on the screen. Uh, then go next. Oh, Christ. Bear with me a second. I didn't hit the skip button, so we can just skip through this because we can't adjust them. Now, I find on this uh, screen, the reds to be pretty dull. However, the best bet, green is your enemy on this. Green, if you bump that down significantly and just take a little bit of the blue off, Maybe bump that up slightly more. The reds will really come alive. The green is holding the red back. Probably try about there. That's probably about right. Because obviously you don't want to do it too much because you end up with too much of a red hue. Uh, okay. Have a look at the red there. I'm looking at the BBC, uh, looking at the little news article there because that's a bit of red. Because um, obviously, you don't want too much red in the screen, but then you, the, the red isn't there, isn't enough of it. Yeah, as I said, green it seems to be what's holding it back. Uh, so Make slightly red in the edges if I turn that. Yeah, oh, it's too red there. So if I try that, looks fairly decent. The problem is, is getting the whites which don't look red. Now, if you do that, then there's not enough red, and it just looks awful. So it's red is as I said. I always said before, it was the red was the one you noticed. Actually, blue being up works quite nicely. Let's try turning no, maybe too much red. Well, I'm gonna try on that. Yeah, it's not much, but as I said, it looks. In fact, that looks pretty nice. Uh, let's go on the BBC website. That. Because there's a bit of red on the news. Ooh, that looks a lot better, actually. I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to say that's looking better. The white is looking crisp. The black is looking, you yeah, know, quite crisp as well. I'm going to say I've got that looking pretty nice. Green, as I said, is your worst enemy on this. Uh, I think... Yeah, that looks all right, actually. So I'm going to say next to that. So obviously you can check it with your previous. Oh, yeah, that's very red at that point. Color. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And then you get your clear type calibration. You can skip this, but I prefer to do it um, because it just makes the screen. It just makes the text a bit more legible. So I like the thicker that one there. That looks nicer. Uh, that one. 
There we go. Sorted. And then you can then use the change of system defaults. And then set that as the default profile. Now anyone who logs into this laptop will have the same calibration. And as you can see, uh, all profiles, if you look here, SRGB calibrated profile 2, 8 for the 5th, that's the one you just created. So when you log on, you might notice the color just ever so slightly shift. Um, but that is the recommended calibration. In fact, I think that looks pretty decent, actually. I'm going to test it with some HDR videos on YouTube now. Obviously, I can't actually show you um, <coughs> um, the screen because, obviously, I'm screen recording, so any calibration. But um, if those of you who have omens, try those settings you've just seen on the screen there. And then, uh, yeah, that should hopefully make quite a bit of difference. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.